A big crowd at Germantown High School included a huge group of cheerleaders who were hoping to see their team hand Whitefish Bay its first North Shore Conference defeat. Facing fourth down, the Warhawks pitch to Wayman McNeil, who's not running but throwing. He gets just enough on the pass for Jack Burskala to haul it in. A 24-yard touchdown, Germantown up 7-3. On Bay's next possession, Dan Lockage puts a helmet on the ball to knock it free. Brady Stoik recovers, great field position for G-Town, and Stoik is fired up. His team's offense takes advantage when senior QB Colin Saffy battles his way to the end zone. Momentum to the Warhawks, they're up 14-3. Bay battles back as their junior signal caller Cade Garcia hits a wide open Alex Anthony. It's 14-10 at the half. Blue Duke fans would see their team take the lead early in the third. Patrick now finds a hole and cruises in. 16-14 Bay on top. Germantown retakes the lead on this field goal by Jack Burskala. Later, Bay tries to get back on top with their own field goal but Zach Lahosik's attempt is blocked by Colton Thomas. Wayman McNeil picks it up and he is gone. It's a 70 yard touchdown return, plus a two point conversion. Germantown now leads 25-16. But the Blue Dukes won't go away. They quickly march downfield and Cade Garcia hits Alex Anthony on a 28 yard strike. Bay is back within two. After a three and out from their defense, the Blue Dukes drive again. It's Garcia to Michael Kirkendall, and they're in field goal range. They're not afraid to try it again. This time, Zach Lahosik's boot is good from 24 yards out. Bay now leads by one with only 35 seconds left. I just put the last one out of my head because um, my coaches have always said, just um, kick, it, kick one kick at a time and Nothing else matters if you just pay attention to the, this one kick. Bay's defense seals it in the final seconds. David Thompson steps in front of the pass and takes it to the house. Whitefish Bay wins a thriller 32-25. The Blue Dukes remain tied with Homestead atop the North Shore Conference. You know it's going to be a tough battle every time, and you just got to come ready to play. And it was like this tonight, getting down early, coming back late, and it's a miraculous finish to the game. We're just a little over a month into the high school football season, and oh boy, do we already have a great matchup in the Midwest Classic Conference between two 5-0 unbeaten teams. Lake Country Lutheran taking on the University School of Milwaukee. USM will take the ball down the field 70 yards and getting a chunk of those yards on this passing play. Wildcats quarterback David Hunton finds wide receiver Trippy Greeby. And on the very next play, USM running back Justin Tramiel just made reservations for six, please. Wildcats take a 7-0 lead. If we're showing you a special team play, well, that means something special just happened. Lake Country Xander Miller received a kick on the 20-yard line, takes it up the middle, makes a cut, then he tells the defense, holla back. Xander takes an 80-yard to the house. In the second quarter, the Lightning put this game away. First, Adam Milky would take the toss and gain 15 tough yards. Lightning sophomore quarterback Ethan Wilkins connects with wideout Brady Kerwin, and Lake Country improves to 6 0 with a 40 14 win against the University School of Milwaukee. Coming into the game, we wanted to shut down their running game. Uh, we knew they came with two good running backs, Will Kennedy and uh, Justin Tremble. And uh, we want to shut down their run game. And we knew that if we would, uh, if we'd hit them hard early with our big hitters, that that would wear them down and definitely make them not want to run. Uh, we wanted to force them into the pass, which is funny because they got a really good quarterback and a really good receiver. Uh, but we wanted to make them one-dimensional. Um, so yeah, definitely hitting them hard. I knew it would take a toll on them. They didn't have any subs, so right. that definitely helps to our advantage. We just played as a team, and uh, that was our quarterback's uh, one of his first games. So that was really good to see him just kind of work into the offense. And stuff like that. 